to make the next generation of fish. And I mean, imagine that. We have a hard time as humans, and you're literally in a room full of 500 other people. You could probably right now, without trying, touch six people. But it keeps the angler fish. They're touching. Everyone's touching. That's nice. Ask for consent. The deep sea anglerfish has a very hard time finding that special someone, in. and they have developed an extraordinarily unique and kind of beautiful adaptation to get around this problem. When a male anglerfish is born, he is hugely useless. He's just a fin and a nose and a mouth and some testicles. That's the whole shebang. System. He cannot sustain himself. If he, you know, he lives out his whole life, and he just runs out of fuel that was in his egg, and then he dies. But the goal is that he uses that nose to sniff out a female anglerfish, and if he finds one in the expanse of the deep sea, he'll swim up to her, and he'll bite her. Right on the side, or the back, or the belly, wherever. He doesn't, he doesn't care. And then an enzyme in her skin dissolves his mouth. Their circulatory system skews together until her heart beats his body. His organs cement into her. And then he becomes basically just a pair of nuts sticking off of her side. And then when it comes that time of the year, she releases a hormone into her blood. That was, that was distracting. Releases a hormone into her blood and it causes it to ejaculate into the water. She releases her eggs. The eggs are fertilized, so the entire process starts all over again. And I thought that story was so beautiful that I wrote a song about it. And I'm going to share it with you. Yes, it's true that I was went through life as a guy who always had to rhyme life with strife. Yes, I've been burned and I've been spurned through it all, my friends, I've learned that love is not about whether you get stabbed, it's how slow the knife gets turned. But my friends, I found that I'm all who doesn't do the same, and I'm so much better 